How you going there, folks? This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com and paulbars.com.au signing in. Hello and welcome to this video, WordPress video tutorials. Continuing on, we've been looking at installing plugins and along those types of things and doing the updates. As you can see, this little number just here shows up here on updates also. There are a number of updates that need doing. Now, like all things, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Number one, which we'll be using, we'll come back to this in one moment, but firstly, if I go down to the plugins page where we were last video, we can update this one, get the details, update here, update there, etc., etc., etc. Well, I'm going to do it simply like this. I'm going to click up here to the updates section just underneath the dashboard and update the whole lot of them automatically. Much, much easier. Here's my list. Select all. Update plugins. Now, a word of warning while it's doing this. It'll do this for me automatically. You always, always, always need to back up first, back up your pages, back up your databases and so on before you do these updates. Okay? Now, I don't have at this point of time any pages or posts or content, so I don't really care that much about backing up, but you really, really should. Now, that's updating our plugins. Let's now get the things up and running because at the moment there's not much happening here and there won't be till we get some content in. But one by one we need to now activate these and get them running. We'll just give you a quick snapshot of why I've uh, chosen and, and, and been using these particular plugins. Number one, okay, a Kismet needs to be activated with a particular API key. Okay, that's important. We'll come to the configurations of them later. But a Kismet, great for stopping spam. The all-in-one SEO pack, search engine optimization, it's a ripper. Strongly recommend that you do that. Again, needs configuration. We'll do that later. The uh, chunk URLs for WordPress, this plugin shortens URLs on comments so they won't break your site. Now, I'm not a, a techie, okay? These things I'm doing because I've been told to do them. For example, this one here. I would never have thought to look for something like that myself, but it's a great idea. Comment Love. Now, Comment Love is a good plugin which allows people to um, leave a comment, and it will then also link to their latest um, blog post. Great little one. Once again, we'll configure all of them later. The Dagon Design Form Mailer, I find, is the, the best. Uh, well, the, not, that's probably not the best. I shouldn't say that. It's certainly an easy option when it comes to creating a contact form on your website. Okay, the sitemap generator, activate it. Again, same kind of thing. All of these things are just, you know, okay. And there's an interesting thing. Fail to open, no such file or directory. Okay, I've obviously had some problems uploading that particular one. So I will come back and I will re-upload that later. Uh, exp php once again i don't know what this is all right i've obviously got some problems that not a number of these haven't uploaded so let me quickly go back to let's see i have to delete them first of all which one was the first one the exp php so we'll delete what is on there at this point of time yeah okay it's not going to let me even do that is it Uh -huh. Okay, let's watch some problem solving in action. Oh, I've got some serious crap going on here right now, and I've got no idea what any of it is. So let me just go back a moment. I'm going to come into my FTP program, now, which is the one that are giving me some problems. EXP-PHP. Let's get rid of that. Well, yeah, it's, mm, there it is. Just there. I'm going to delete this one completely. Now, I have a pretty lousy internet connection where I am, so it's not uh, unexpected for me to have something not upload um, correctly. No problem. Look, that's going to finish deleting. I'll just pause this, come back to you once it's done. Okay, so we're back. I've now deleted those out of here because it wouldn't let me delete them from here. 
And that's just one of those things. I'm glad that happened while we're on video because, well, you can see the way that I now troubleshoot it along the way. So I need to uh, re-add them back in by clicking the Add New. Now, I'm going to do it the other way rather than just re-upload them, which, of course, I could do. I'll simply do a search for them here. And this is, without doubt, the easier. So we're looking for the uh, Sitemap Generator, the Dagon Design Sitemap Generator, and uh, the exe exec dash php folder there we go install much much easier to do it this way certainly less chance of something going wrong and activate now that should just activate properly as uh, it did uh, last time didn't do last time i should say there we go look at that one worked that time so obviously i hadn't uploaded all of the files and the other one that i was having problems with I could go and try and re-upload it, but instead, I'll just do the search. There it is. Search the plugins. Install it. Let's have a look, see what it does. The XP plugin executes PHP code in posts and widgets. Yes, it does lots of tech stuff. I don't know what any of that means. Maybe you can tell me watching this, but I will now install that and activate it. And that was so much easier, wasn't it? Okay, so let's continue on then down the list and so on and so on. FeedBurner, fantastic. I wonder if any of these uh, haven't uploaded correctly. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Uh, the FeedBurner integrates with, of course, Google FeedBurner for tracking our feeds and configurations. Very, very important so people can subscribe uh, the feed footer is a neat little tool which has allowed us to run uh, multiple ads at the bottom of our feeds. The Google XML sitemaps, very, very important for updating Google with what we're doing. Maintenance mode. I don't know if you really need this one, but it just puts a little sign up when you're doing maintenance on your blog. Looks like these others have all worked. The share this one, that's for social network sharing buttons. Simple tags is part of the search engine stuff. We'll be configuring these later. Subscribe to comments. I'm not going to activate that at the moment. I don't normally do it. Tagalize it. No idea. Something to do with with tags that I was told to include there. It's part of the expert WordPress package, and I trust Alex implicitly when it comes to these types of things. He's the tech guy. I'm not. Okay. The ultimate plugin smart updater. This is helping us keep things updated, of course. What would Seth Godin do? Now, I'm not going to bother with this one. Um, it's a good little plugin. It just simply displays a custom welcome message to new visitors, you know, another one to return visitors and so on. Database backup, very important. And the uh, WordPress post views and WordPress print. Um, this is going to be a video blog, so I probably don't need those, but they're there for the moment anyway. Uh, I can activate them later. Look, in a nutshell, I've got some work to do when it comes to configuration. These things will be part of the settings when we get to that, and that's fine. I will get to that later, but for the moment, well, this was exciting. You got to see me um, have some real fun with my plugins. Stuff messes up. If it doesn't work, delete it and start again. That's all you really need to be worrying about. I will just add in a couple more that I know I'm going to be needing along the way. This one's a little beauty called Redirection. Now, Redirection allows me to simply track and measure redirections. Okay, I can use it for affiliate links. Very good, very easy. There it is just there. I can use it for redirecting to my other websites, tracking how many people click the link. Nice, important stuff. And a few others along the way. Okay, that's done. And a couple more, which once again, we'll go through the configurations later. 
ClickBank Hop Ad. Now, I may or may not use that one on this, this particular site, but certainly worthwhile showing it to you. It allows me to very, very easily run ClickBank ads uh, through my affiliate link on that sidebar column there, depending on whatever keyword phrases I happen to be to be using and searching in. Okay, another good one that I like coming up. Banner Garden. I love this one because it allows me to rotate some banners there on that right-hand side, and I'll just be using it for my own website, but very, very easily. And again, test, track, and measure everything along the way. Activating each one as we go. And this is it. Now, I've, I've obviously got a list that I'm going through, and, and you may well find this list somewhere. Easy Google Analytics for WordPress. Very, very important. Now, there's a few different uh, analytics plugins here. This is the one I use and quite find it easy to use along the way. There it is. Just a couple more to go, and there'll be a separate video on each that needs configuration along the way. How's your day going? I mean, this might seem like boring stuff, but it's not when you realize how much money it can make you along the way. It makes it a bit more exciting, wouldn't you think? Oh, yeah. Got my coffee here sitting next to me anyway, and you're watching me just type away. Limit, limit login attempts. I should tell you what these are for. This one's good for people who tried to hack into your blog. It can basically track them by IP. They're trying to just log in to your control panel and you know black ban them, delist them, make it so they can't get anywhere near you. Okay, this next one I'm going to put in, Posty. Posty, I probably won't be using for this particular blog, but I'll show it to you anyway. It allows me to email stuff to the blog from wherever in the world I am without even logging in. It will just automatically post it for me. I use it on my um, AdSense websites. Great little plugin. Okay, just two more for the moment. Next one, SEO Smart Links. Let's put this one in here. SEO smart links. I can create a whole bunch of tags or, sorry, not tags, but words which I might be using in my um, posts. And anytime that word will then appear throughout my entire blog, it will be linked to whatever link I make it. Great, great, great tool for uh, affiliate linking throughout your blog. Probably won't be using it in this one either because this is a video blog, so there's not going to be too much text, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. Last one. This is a video blog, so I need Viper Video Quick Tags. Essential. You want a great, great easy tool if you want to be uh, posting you know, YouTube videos and so on and so on. Details install now. Okay, that's all of them, and I've got a lot of stuff that needs some configuration. So let's take a break from this video, come back, and get started on those others. All right, Paul Bars from paulbars.com, paulbars.net, the website I'm building right now, and of course, Maximum Success University for Product Creation, Website Design and Internet Marketing. Whew, what a mouthful. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.